Hello again, Gemma here with Handy Colors. Welcome to part 2 of this beginner junk journal project. In part 1 we made our journal cover. In this part 2 we will work on the content of our journal and add some embellishments. First we'll make the holes in the spine for sewing our signatures. For three signatures we need three rows of holes. You will cut a piece of lined paper with the exact dimensions of your spine, 1 inch and a half by 7 inches and a half. I will call this our template. Then you fold it in half vertically, then fold each half in half to obtain four sections. Now you fold your paper in half horizontally, then you fold the half in half to obtain four sections as well. Mark the intersections of each folding line to obtain three rows of three holes. The top hole I made is for the charm. I will put a fastener through that hole. Place your template paper on your spine's cover and make your hole using a null or any printed or sharp item you have, like a plastic pushpin for example. Next, prepare your signatures. By the way, a signature is the group of folded paper that will be sewed together. Each of my signatures has a cardstock cover, 10 coffee dyed pages. You can use simple print papers or lined ones. It's up to you. I also included a couple of small cardstock paper in the inside. Secure your signatures with paper clips. Use as many paper clips as you need to avoid any sliding when making the holes and sewing. Now, to make the holes in your signatures, use the same paper template you used for the spine and make your three lined holes. The fastener on top of my spine is for adding the charm afterwards. Okay, now time to do some sewing. Here you'll need a large needle that you can get from any craft store. They use these needles for sewing leather but they work great for book biting. Use some embroidery thread or anything strong enough to hold your signatures to the spine. I'm using some cotton embroidery thread. So, you will start with the middle hole in your signature. You pass through the hole from the inside of your signature, you go through your spine, and you have to leave some extra thread. You secure it with some washi tape. Then, pass the needle through the top right of your cover spine, through the signature, then back to the middle hole. signature and spine again. Then go through the bottom left of your spine, through your signature and back to the middle. At the end, before passing your needle through the middle hole, you will need to make a knot. For that you pass the thread under sewing on the right or left side and the needle through the small loop. You tighten well and again pass the needle through the middle hole of your spine, then your signature. Tighten and make another knot, cut the thread, double knot, and voila! Your first signature is sewed! You 
you will repeat the same process with the rest of the signatures. I know it's going to be a bit challenging at first to hold the cover and the signatures together and find the holes to pass your needle, but just go slow. Be sure that if you secured well your paper signatures with the paper clips and you kept them in place while doing the holes, you won't have much difficulty doing the sewing. I usually like to add corner protectors to my cover. You don't have to do it, you can keep it simple. I also add a little bit of glue inside the protector just to keep it in place. Also, don't hesitate to use your plier. I made this charm of camera with some wood beads, glass beads, you can use tassels, pom-poms, ribbons, anything you like. Again, it's your journal. Finally, I found that the cover was missing something, so I decided to glue this write your own story on it and um, you know what? I think it looks really nice. To give it a vintage look, I used a Distress collage medium and painted the whole cover and here you can see the result. And finally, you can use a ribbon or a lace to close your channel. Here we go. Now you can say that you officially finished your first junk journal. I really hope that you like this tutorial. Inside my journal I put some tags, doilies, some quotes, I added some pockets, you can add whatever you want, just play with it. This is the end of our video, I hope that you liked this tutorial. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave your questions, suggestions and comments. Share your junk journal pictures and tag me on Instagram or Facebook, I'll be glad to see them. My social media links are in the description box. I'll see you next time, bye!